Let's talk about it like at App Academy, and then what do you do at your job as well? Great. So um, paired programming is the general idea is that like two heads are better than one, and so um, at App Academy you literally have one keyboard and two monitors, right? And the monitors are mirrored so that you both see the same thing. And um, when you first get started, they encourage you to set a timer. And so it's at 15 minute intervals, you guys switch. And during this time, one person is called the driver and one person is called the navigator. And so the driver is the person that's literally typing at the keyboard and the navigator is the one that's giving directions. Um, but it, I mean, there's still like, as the driver, you kind of have veto power, right? Um, because you can just say like, no, like I'm not gonna type that. But the key thing is that like, if you as a navigator have an idea, you have to be able to communicate it so that the driver can um, do that. And then um, when you're like working, it's usually less uh, formal, right? You're not setting a 15 minute timer and then like when it goes off switching. But there is this kind of like, oh, I know how to do this, can I drive? Or someone will say like, um, I don't have the context for this, but um, and so you know whoever drives is based on who has the most experience or who needs to learn or that kind of thing. But um, you're, since you're both watching, you can give each other feedback when the other person is typing about how to you know refactor this, um, any typos that you missed, any ideas that come on, and so it's a constant dialogue. And what you get used to um, as you're doing this is talking about what you're thinking it's a stream of consciousness and you're narrating that and that forces you to have a much better idea of what you're going to write um, you have a very clear like vision that you communicate ahead of time and it helps you plan out your code a lot better ronnie gave a great description i should really note that we uh, at app academy they're pretty strict about the timers um uh, uh they do uh 15 minutes i think 15 minutes per each person um, until a break um, so they're very uh, they they try to be strict to, just to enforce the format so that um, you know with so many people um, it's they need to make sure that you know one person isn't necessarily just you know steamrolling the other person and because also do, uh, do pairs still switch every day uh, you have a different yes. different pair every day yeah um, yes. and so um, so it's important to make sure that you know, with every individual that you're with, you still get the um, the amount of time uh, driving um, and coding, and the amount of time navigating and thinking through the problems. Um, at my job, we um, we also do a lot of pairing, but the one experience where I definitely definitely benefited from was this summer when we had interns. Um, all of our interns were assigned a mentor, so they were our mentee. Um, and, uh, you know, people with CS backgrounds don't ever necessarily pair program. Um, and just having, as a rule, if you are the person that quote unquote knows less, you should probably be the driver. Um, just getting the muscle memory in and hearing what you should be typing makes you question why and it gives you a better understanding. It's just going through the motions of um, getting that in. Uh, but that's about a year for everyone that hasn't gone through App Academy down the road. So what you can do right now um, is as you're studying for your application or anything like that, what I did is I just got in touch with a couple of people that were also applying to. Um, and we weren't uh, I was in San Francisco, one of them was in LA, another one was in somewhere in the East Bay. Um, and we literally just Google hung out uh, while we tried to do the review homeworks uh, problems and then we went over them, oh, how did you do it? Oh, let's do it again, let's time ourselves. Um, and we didn't really think of it as pair programming at the time, but that's kind of what we were doing. Uh, we were explaining why we solved a particular problem one way, um, we compared notes, um, and that pair programming is just pretty much doing that live. Um, and, you know, like we said, go to Project Euler, Code or Byte, and get, find a problem, find, you know, someone to talk something through it and say, okay, great, let's solve it. That's what you can do for now. Um, one more thing that I wanted to add is that um, as a new programmer, like, you don't have a sense of what is good code and what is bad code and what is good design and what is bad design. You only know that this is what you wrote. 
And so um, one of the most important things about pair programming is exposing you to those other things. And it helps to like cultivate your taste, basically. Um, and it like helps inform your style. And so like you'll start to be able to recognize like, you know, if someone does something, you're like, oh, this is really cool. Like um, it teaches you little tips and tricks. It teaches you patterns of thinking that you wouldn't have come up with on your own. And so you come out of it like the best of everybody that you've ever had the ability to code with. All right. Thank you guys.